flip through our three journals that have kind of the same cover and are modeled on each other. They're all three um, envelope and napkin journals. But this is a fun thing that they all do because each envelope tucks into another envelope. You can open the whole thing up like this. This is a basic one. It doesn't have other pockets stuck in or photographs stuck in or anything. Whoop! anything like that. But this is also if you have a bunch of pretty napkins that you like, you can just put these, you can just put this on your table as a centerpiece for fun at different times. And you could put party favors and oh who knows what all. There's so many things you can do with these. But but anyway, this is this is a fun thing that they do and I didn't know that they did until I made them. So this one is smaller than the other two. I think it's the second one I made. This is the first one I made. And I think this is the third one. And I also have a mermaid journal here getting bigger and bigger. So this one I've been using, and I kind of am using it as a briefcase. I've got, oh, some stuff. So I can take it with me and color things or write things or whatever. Um, these are really nice. I'm working on these right now. They are rainbow clamshells. We're not quite in focus yet. Sorry, here, let me. Rainbow clamshells that I picked up on the 4th of July this year in Hermosa. And what's so special is that I got them in pairs. You know, I looked for pairs for years as a kid. Now I found them. Let's see. Oh, this I need to stamp Hermosa Beach on the back. And these are rainbow clamshells that I picked up in Hermosa uh, in July of 2017. This was 2018. There's a map of the area in here. Just working on what kind of cards I might want to put in to have for myself. These are these I have gessoed with clear gesso. So don't use good brushes on those things. Um, I love this one. Uh, yeah, make yourself at home, clean my kitchen. I did iron all of my tea dyed book pages and lined pages and plain pages and other kinds of pages, but I have not yet ironed my blouse. Okay. This this is something I like. I would suggest gluing these in with a A6000. These are uh, transparent corners. And you can put a picture there and keep others in here that are a standard size and switch them out from time to time. That was kind of a fun thing to do with this. Um, I'm trying to encourage myself to put miscellaneous remembered biographical notes in there. Where is my cabana boy? Where should I is Beachy? This is a... Oh! It's a reminder of an art exhibit I should participate in. Oh, this looks like a dictionary page. Yeah, there's a seahorse. I just found that I have a seahorse stamp, so I'm going to be doing some stamping. I'm so excited. I found a seahorse stamp and some other stamps that I really wished I had, and I had them. I bought them on a big haul day, you know how those go. And I, I went through trying to clean up this big mess I have. Well, these things are for coloring. This is Copics. I like them. Mm. Uh, I think there's one more page here. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, salty but still sweet beach, please. Sail away. Um, leave me at the beach, bikinis and martinis. Here's a tag. That's a nice tag. I finally got some music pages to use. So now I'm into that stage of these. This one has a clock with fake glass on it. And it has a few things in it. I think I'm going to put corners in for this. Add a little note of levity to the great outdoors. This is one of those uh, insurance ads. Um, and the name of this book is Taking Time. So I would hope that it would be a somewhat reflective book. This can be colored in. It has traces of color from the top layer. This is the middle layer of napkins. And you see it, it still has some of the um, color on it there in the, in the butterfly. So we can go in and use watercolor pencils or colored pencils or whatever we like on this. Uh, this one I did with, um, I think I just used school glue and uh, water. Uh, this tag is yet to be finished. I have an E. Cummings poem I would like to put on it. This has some autumn colors and mm, just different things. I'm not sure what all I want to put in to suggest. Okay, but little by little, it's a nice pocket I'm going to use as a pattern for other ones. But this is basically a floral journal. Here's a journaling card. It's just a Nice string and <laughs> part of a tea bag holder and part of a napkin and a paper bag. It, it, there's a certain beauty to it. And it's like it here. And then any of the things that are in tuck spots, people can take out and move around and do different things with. I've stamped bees throughout. Oh, I think I took a picture of this earlier. This is uh, just a little pocket that I'll be sewing in here and then it'll just give a haze to these as if it's even more underwater. And then these two pockets here. This one has a double row of lace and then there's a pocket there. So I'm starting to make pockets for these. And then as I said, this one is a, a basic um, one and it's one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen pages long. So they get kind of expensive, uh, you know, to buy because there's a lot of labor in getting the um, envelopes covered. Just. Well, it's a considerable amount of medium. All right, this is pretty long for just a short little walkthrough, but I did want to show these because I'd like some feedback. I, I'm enjoying this, and I'm still watching different videos, and, and I'm making tags like a mad woman um, out of these mixed media backgrounds. This one was a poster that was in my window that I was keeping track of the kids that were stuck in the cave in Thailand. Now they're all out and then I made it into something that'll make some nice backgrounds for tags. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, and uh, hmm? Stop there. I haven't made a video for a while. And I'm going to upload it immediately. But I do like these. And again, this is the same cover. This is a smaller one, but the nap the envelope is uh, white. The envelope behind here is actually a an off-white or a beige. 
Um, these envelopes are actually a little bit of an off-white or a beige, too. You see here that the envelope is white, but the napkin is a bit of a beige, and then it has a white in here. So it is a two-toned napkin, but here on top of a beige-ish or cream envelope, this shows up more. And then here on this third one, I've added in um, butterflies and bee honeycomb. And put the, the clock in first with the liquid glass on top. And this vellum thing. And I've uh, painted it a little bit, I guess, with watercolor pencils just to put in a little bit of color. But then I added to butterfly from one napkin and some butterflies from a butterflies only napkin which is probably in here somewhere mm, yeah here's the butterflies only napkin on top of the tulips oh, they're kind of a silver so there's a lot that can be done with playing with what's here as a start it just depends on what a person's needs are and plenty of room for tuck pockets here and other pockets here and so on. So I'm playing with these a bit longer um, to add to them and I'm going to put them up on Etsy I think.